I need one more to get over half marks, and that's usually the target I set for myself every week. <laughs> Number five. Right. Shoulder problems. So this Cumbrian prop forward make only three and a half. Next. Give the people at home that. No, I'm excited. The build up par- as well. Was it Parramatta? Yeah. Let me get to the answer. The people Sorry. have a chance of answering it as well before you give them the answers. <laughs> I'm excited. But you're four and a half out of five. You're going great guns. Number six, former England centre who played his entire career in the NRL before injury forced retirement. Oh, who is that? Broncos Ranger. What's his name? I can see his bloody ginger face (laughs) as well. Oh, it's not. It's not. His name's not going to come to me. But you know who I mean. Jake. Jack. Oh. Ah. You're halfway there. I know. Um, Jack. 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 Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I love that. There'll be people listening. Oh, what is that? I'm, but I'm, oh, come on. You know I'm right. You get, you're only getting half a mark so far. I can't. John. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jack. Jack, 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 Jack. What's his, no, what's his last name? It's not going to happen. It's not going to come. I know I'm right because I know who I mean. Begins with a... R- <laughs> Jack Reed. Jack Reed. Thank you. So we're at five out of six now of your half marks earnings. Okay. Okay. Number seven. Oh, that was infuriating. High earning fullback who scored 14 tries in a two season stay in the NRL. Sam Tompkins. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, and the final one. So you're at six out of seven, you're doing really well. Right. Uh, if you do this one, I'll be amazed, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at this point, I'm already stocked up on amazement, so carry on. This forward played for Western Suburbs in the inaugural NRL season and played in a winning NRL Grand Final off the bench for Brisbane in 2000 before being a losing Super League Grand Finalist in 2001. (sighs) So it was either Bradford or Wigan he played for, wasn't it? Nah, it's not going to happen. Well, they on. lost the 2001. Oh, he's a, so he's a Wigan fan. Wigan player. No, it's definitely not going to happen then. Go on. Played for Wigan. Prop, nah. f- prop forward. It won't. Alliterative name. No, there's nothing springing to mind. Just Surname's a first name. And it... <laughs> it said Andy Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Harvey Howard. Harvey Howard. We could have literally sat here till next week's Super League Cup, <laughs> and I would have said Harvey Howard to you. Fair enough. All right, I'll take that. Six out that? of eight. Six out of eight. Six Charlie out of eight. Well, you know. It, I'll take that. And really, kind of s- seven out of eight. Yeah, I think I should get. I should definitely get Jack Reed. No, you shouldn't. Because you didn't know his name. Get, oh come on! I described him perfectly, and I knew his first name. No, you didn't. You knew it was Jake or Jack. So Jake, Jack, Jake, Jack, Jack, Jack. No, you, you said, what's his name? It's fucking annoying. Right, okay. Well, I'm pleased with that. So do tweet us in and let us know how you get on. What's coming up this week, Mark? Um, I think that We've got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm drawing a blank apart from the usual excitement around... Emma's away next weekend, so I'll probably get to watch a bit more... Hookers and coke round at Mark's house. Uh, no, more NRL, probably. <laughs> she asked me today, she said to me today, um, when I was listening to the BBC Five Live Rugby League podcast... Um, well, the podcasts are available, and you're listening to one of them. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, was, I was listening to that, and she said, do you ever, like... I think there's too much rugby league being taken in by, by you. Yeah. And I said, I, I get like that occasionally, but it doesn't last very long. Mm. I, have it, I have had it pointed out to me that I do watch a lot of rugby league, but at the moment I'm pretty happy. I don't feel like I'm overdoing it. No. No, there we go. So um, Emma's away. Where's the problem, Emma going? The problem for me is when I feel like I'm just doing something for the show, and then it, yeah. it, it sort of then I don't feel like I enjoy it as much. Hmm. When I feel like I'm doing it for myself, for my own entertainment, or you know because I want to watch the games, hmm. then then it's fine. It's it's when I feel like I'm doing something just for the show that it it gets hmm. to a point where I feel like am I am I just doing this when I'm not enjoying it. Hmm. 
and then I enjoy the show so it all comes back around. Yeah. Um, Emma, I don't know where she's going, to be honest. Fair enough. Right, she well, see a friend. I'm, 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 I haven't got a tremendous amount coming up either. Um, uh, this week, although on the horizon for me, I've got tickets to go see the commitments in Manchester, which should be the stage play. Oh, right, okay. Not, not, the, not the film, the actual stage production of that. So, wow. I'm looking forward to that. Date? A lot. Uh, could be. Um, so, um, if you're listening to this in Leeds on Tuesday, Postmodern Jukebox are in Leeds tonight. <laughs> there you go. Or if you're listening to it in Leeds on Monday, you've now got a day to, to work out that you could go. No one's going to be listening to it in Leeds on Monday because it's not live and it won't be up. And today's Monday, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Great work. I do know what's going on on this podcast, I swear to God. But, um, How can series... people get in touch with us and take the mickey out of us this any, week? Have right? you got any recommendations? Oh, yes, I do, actually. But it's only a brief one. It's the Twitter uh, account, 50 Nerds of Grey. Someone pointed it out on Facebook, and basically this Twitter account is rewrite, rewriting Fifty Shades of Grey from the point of view of geeky, nerdy people, and it's pretty funny. So check that out for a few yucks um, if you've got a quiet five minutes. Good stuff. Mm. Um, I do you have anything to recommend? I would recommend a podcast. Um, now I wouldn't recommend the podcast on a whole because it's hit and miss, depending on who the guest is. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's the comedians comedian podcast. I think it's let me double check the name. Of Excellent. It. But um, yeah, it's the two hundredth edition of that podcast out wow. at the moment, and it's um, Stuart Lee is the person being interviewed. And it's a very like long Stuart Lee, very long interview with Stuart Lee, mm. and actually, like I can find that I really enjoy something he does, and then he'll really annoy me another time. All right. Stuart Lee, uh, yeah, it's called the Comedians Comedian Podcast, mm-hmm. and um, and this gives a really good insight into sort of the workings of him and what he does, and the way he approaches his sets and, and that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, I'd I'd say check that out. It was quite an interesting. I'm going to give that listen. I really like Stuart Lee. It's so. a two hour, so Super League Pod listeners will be, you know, well, struggling to fit that in around our our uh, mammoth effort. But if if you find a time, it's one that'll be up forever. It's not like us; they don't have like. Yeah. No storage space to put stuff up at. No, um, they, they they crave the attention. We're like we're here for a certain amount of time. If you don't get us, your loss. <laughs> yeah, your loss. There you go. Okay, so how can the good people of Super League Pod listenership get in touch with us and tell us what they think of things, Mark? Well, um, at Super League Pod is our Twitter handle, and I don't know how you're getting on with Instagram, but that's our well, Instagram. Not, I'm not well listen. I mean, I could Instagram my life for the podcast, if you wish, <laughs> day to day. Um, I'm going to wait until we go to another live rugby league event, I think. Uh, together, or at least I go to one, and then I'll start sticking that up there. But if you want to follow, I've waited right. a while. Summer bash tickets are right. Summer bash, there you go. Absolutely, we love the summer bash. We're in the north stand at the summer bash. If anyone wants to join us there, buy your tickets for the north stand, mm. um, and get your hotels in Livermore St Anne's because yeah, they come out on the piss with us afterwards. Afterwards, we can go to the the beer festival they've got on at the Livermore Catholic Club that weekend. There you go. Not. You don't have to be religious to attend, you know, I'll be there. No, Mark doesn't. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark is apparently the most atheist, atheist on the face of the planet and you don't get struck down when you cross the threshold, do you? So, uh, yeah, get your hotels South Blackpool or live in St Anne's and we can all go out on a merry little drink afterwards. Yeah. Uh, what a tremendous idea. Facebook.com forward slash Super League Pod. Get, get around us there, please, guys. Mm. Super League Pod at gmail.com. Um, obviously for your longer bits and mm. the Google form will be up for your match reviews everyone did a great job of getting them in another around about 50 or so we're, we're getting that every week it's mm. fantastic and I'm really enjoying it but if you listen to the show and you think you know you think you want to yeah, give something back or whatever we talked about the shares and that sort of stuff the the thing that we love the most is the is the fan reviews we've put more it's importance on, on them this year haven't we yeah. we, we try and pick up our episode titles through them and that sort of stuff where we can as well this year because we we enjoy them yeah um it's a massive part of what we do so so well it's it's It's, the show wouldn't exist if we didn't do that i don't think well if there were if there were no people listening and contributing in the level that they do we would have packed it in by now absolutely so so yeah very valuable get on the google form it'll be up from the final whistle of Thursday night's match all the way through to around about 10pm on Sunday so you'll have plenty of time to get in over all the there's the three Sky games there's all the games on Premier Sports um, there's a Challenge Cup fixture on the BBC 
yeah. on the online feature on the BBC Sport website, so you can get around that as well. There's plenty for you to be watching rugby league wise. And, and if to you're at a game, all of it. if you're at a game that isn't on TV. We really want to hear from you guys, Hull and Witness fans, Wigan and Huddersfield fans, Salford and Castleford fans, because we're not going to know what's gone on at some of them games mm-hmm. if we don't hear from you guys. And you're informed, not just us, but everyone who listens to the Super League pod. So, doesn't thank- it? Do you still like get the same like feeling of ah? Oh, we sort of helped that happen when you see conversations going on on Twitter between our our listeners. Who I do, but then I worry that like. And it hasn't happened They're yet. They're rising up against us. Oh, no, 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 I don't worry about that. <laughs> we're, 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 their, we're their imperial lords and masters, and, and all of the rugby league podcasts are fake news. But I do worry that if we ever misjudge someone and they turn out to be mal, you know, malintentioned, that people have met through us and then <laughs> something horrible happens, like, you know, some fool makes the mistake of trying to rob Dave Cantrell and ends up getting their skull torn off, <laughs> for instance. Uh, but so far, everybody who listens to the Super League pod is, is a delight. Didn't Dave Cantrell once break someone's arm when he saw them trying to rob someone in the street? Yeah, just... And he accosted them and, 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 and broke accidentally and broke their arm. Her. Oh, man, a lie. Yeah, I just... He puts little recipes up sometimes on Facebook of like what he's making for his tea, and it just sounds like the most wholesome, wonderful food. I keep meaning to try some of the stuff he uh, he cooks and does, but he does these big casseroles with beans and vegetables and sausages in them, and and he, and he sort of puts the recipes up. He's um, oh, there's nothing but there's nothing but like blue sky and and birds and stuff around around Dave. As I think far it's because he walks so high above everybody yeah. else that he kind of just, you know, floats The BFG. He, exactly. He is a very friendly giant and a delight of a man. Right, um, what else, Mark, before I shut the show down? I don't, well, we, 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 st- we stepped into Dave Cantrell love, like we often do. <laughs> yeah. When we were, when I was, I, was, I, was, I can't remember what, oh yeah, about we the... Told people to, we asked people to get in touch, we talked about how lovely they all are, you said, do we get a warm and fuzzy glow when people meet each other through us and you see them talking over Twitter and Facebook and I said yes as long as none of them turn out to be rapists oh, or yeah. murderers yeah well there's question marks over like a few people in there out there we have a we have a <laughs> is there I thought I like everyone <laughs> no we like them but to me we can't have question marks over people yeah um, there's we have a we have a really broad listenership and fellowship, fellowship and I hope that you know, one of the things you just mentioned is how atheist I am, and it comes up occasionally. Yeah. And um, well, I'm have, a man of faith, and I, I know there's a lot. Of, I know there's a lot of people who are, you know, seriously religious who who listen to the show, and mm. that's great. And there's you know people who've who side different ways on political matters or political parties yes. or that sort of stuff yeah. who are on, on board with the show, and we hope that none of our personal views put people off. So listening enough. to the show, we're and, very broad-minded boys, aren't we? And we we enjoy all the all the rugby league chat and 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 the things that surround that. Like, come on board. Sorry, has my bringing up your religious kind of your your religious persuasion? Well, I'm not an athe- I'm not just a religious atheist. No, I had to explain this to my boss the other week when we were on a train journey back from Edinburgh when she was asking me about stuff. <laughs> God, and I was I bet like, you're delighted to do that, are you? I, well, I was saying like the the problem I've got mm. is I don't. I don't believe in anything. Mm. I'm always challenging everything. I'm always questioning everything. So it makes it a really hard footing to live your life on sometimes. Well, yes, it's... it's, Yeah. Like, basically, there's... I I know few things to be absolutely true. Mm. And that's... It's... it's, it's, Yeah. So I'm not just a religious atheist. No. I I try not to hold any beliefs. I, I feel like a lot of... A lot of beliefs cause a lot of problems. There you go. Okay, and I, 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 and as a man of faith, I agree with you actually on that. So, um, let's. No, I don't, I'm not offended by bringing up. It's not something. Good. I hope. Made. Yeah, I hope yeah. not. That's all right. It occurred to me as we were talking about. Oh shit, I might have stumbled on something. No, because we we Personal. we mention our views on you know, you know, we've made jokes or points about our views on on Brexit. I nearly threw in a joke tonight because mm. that's where we're going. Um, Article fifty stuff. Was happening, and yeah. I was thinking you were talking about um, alleged key, and I was thinking about well, it would no be assurances because <laughs> the House of Lords didn't get those assurances yeah. through the House of Commons. They'll be playing for the Warsaw Warriors in five years when he gets deported. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lad. Okay, well, 
let's get off let's get off this heavier tip and get back on to how wonderfully privileged we both feel to have so many fabulous listeners contributing and being involved in this fabulous podcast it would not be the same and in fact it would not exist without you so we're going to see you all back here in a week's time for the next episode of your favorite rugby league podcast the super league pod <laughs>